inside. It just looks like a deflated pancake. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do something kind of different on this channel. I basically thought that it'd be a really fun idea for me to challenge myself to put together five different outfits for each day of the week and basically I can only buy those outfits from the men's section. I feel like this is going to be the toughest challenge I have ever done on this channel just because I feel like my style is totally different from like men's clothing that you see in shop. I feel like my style is kind of on the girly side but sometimes it is a little bit more edgy so I don't know how this is gonna go. I tried my absolute hardest to try and put together like really cute outfits but obviously it is the men's section so I don't know if it's gonna look that good. But I do have to say the men's clothing is so comfy like the oversized shirts and the jumpers and hoodies. If you have never tried men's clothing you are missing out because it is honestly the best. If you guys are brand new here and have never seen my face before make sure you guys come and subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family and also don't forget to hit the bell button down below. It lets you stay notified of every time I post Post a new video but anyways without further ado let's get on into the video okay you guys so I literally went a bit overboard with this video and I purchased a whole box from ASOS of clothes now honestly I did not expect for it to come in a massive box and a bag on top of that so we've got quite a bit of stuff so you guys know how it is with like men's clothing you can totally get away with wearing like a massive like oversized shirt as a dress when you're a girl so i thought i would basically cheat a little bit and go for that so i picked up this really really oversized like beige kind of top it is absolutely humongous i got like an m and it's already oversized anyways but i thought this would be really cute kind of like as a long dress and then cinched in with like a cute belt or something. Although this is massive and like so not my size, I feel like I can make this work. So I then of course have a belt. So this is actually a belt that I already own, but I own the women's version. But it's basically one of the circle belts that you guys have probably seen everywhere all over Instagram. This was actually in the men's section, so I didn't cheat. This was a men's belt. I got the smallest one, but I'm pretty sure this is still going to be a bit too big for me because the last loop is like there. And I kind of want it to be more of like a waist belt. But we're going to see what happens. Hopefully it will fit. Then to kind of spice up the whole outfit just a little bit, I went for a cap. So this one totally makes me think of like Burberry. I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it in the men's section. And I don't actually think they have this hat in the women's section. So it honestly just goes to show how many gems you can find in the men's section. I am literally loving it. I'm not going to put it on properly, but this is going to look so cute with that oversized dress. And then to finish off that outfit, I just went for a cheeky pair of Converse. These are men's, but luckily they had a size five. So I'm hoping the sizes are like the same for men and women. I'm not too sure how that works, but we shall see. How Hopefully these will fit. I absolutely love these. They're just like the regular high top converse. I think that will make the outfit really, really cute. So that is outfit number one. I'm actually kind of nervous to try it on, but let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, you guys, can I just say I am actually obsessed with this. Like, it actually looks like a dress. What the heck? This is like an oversized t-shirt from the men's section, and I made it look like an actual dress. All it took, you guys, was this tiny little belt right here. I mean, it doesn't fit quite right. The belt doesn't actually quite fit, so I had to head grip it into place because it hasn't got, like, a hole far enough into the belt for me to actually clasp it on. The hat looks incredible. I actually love this hat. I'm so shook that this wasn't in the women's section. Like, hello, I actually really, really want this. Can you imagine if you're just a regular woman shopping in the women's section you don't even think to glance at the men's section and you miss the opportunity to get a Burberry look-alike hat the only thing I would say is that the shoes don't exactly go because there's nothing else in the outfit that's white everything's pretty like neutral and beige and I also really like the fact that the shirt has like little slits in the side because it just adds a little bit of something honestly this outfit is just so cute I didn't anticipate this so I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 okay so now for outfit number two I went for a big oversized like vest so it's just like a plain white vest it's kind of long but the vision I had in mind is to kind of like tie it up or tuck it into some jeans I did go for like the extra small size but it's still massive so we're gonna see what we can do honestly the bit that I was dreading the most about this challenge is the fact that I had to buy men's jeans which already is not a good idea when you're a female because I feel like the sizes and the shapes are just not right for you for me I struggle with jeans as it is when I shop in the women's section 
section like I always need like a really small waist and then a little bit of wider hips but I can never find anything that great so I purchased these ones these are gonna be like kind of like boyfriend jeans well you know they're men so they should be boyfriend really I don't usually wear boyfriend or mum style jeans so this is gonna be a new one for me I always wear like super high-waisted skinny jeans and then to top the outfit off I went for a bit of double denim just to kind of spice things up so I got this like oversized shirt I guess it buttons down all the way it's got little pockets on the side and I just thought this might be quite cute as like an off-the-shoulder slouchy kind of look I've realized double denim isn't for everyone but I quite like the look of it so you know I'm gonna rock it and then lastly to finish off the whole outfit I have a pair of trainers I feel like trainers and like shoes in general were not that hard to choose just because I feel like men's shoes are pretty unisex anyways so I just picked up these which I actually really really like like I feel like these look like women's shoes anyways so these are just the Adidas Alpha Bounce. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I have no knowledge in trainers. I'm sorry. So that is outfit number two complete. Let's try it on and see how it looks. Wait, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> this outfit is so cute. What the heck? So first of all, look at the jeans. I just want to say something. I feel like I've just discovered something very big and that is the fact that I'm pretty sure women's and men's jeans are literally the same like look at that the only difference is that there's quite a bit of room in the back right here but these fit like a glove like honestly these fit better than some of my actual jeans from the women's section they're super super skinny they go all the way down to the bottom I love the rips they feel really stretchy and nice as well I love this oversized shirt this definitely would be in like the women's section same with the vest I've just tucked the vest into my trousers and I just think that this look is so cute and like casual. It's very roomy. I have like a lot of room right now. Look at this. I am just so surprised and kind of chuffed with myself. So I'm going to give this one a big thumbs up as well. Okay, so now for outfit number three. I am kind of nervous for this one because I picked up a pair of dungarees thinking, yes, this is going to be fine. Like dungarees are usually loose around, you know, the bottom half, even in women's clothing. So I was like, yeah, this is a safe bet. It's going to work. But how wrong was I? I feel like these are gonna be so massive on me and there's nothing I can even do about it. So this might not be my favorite look, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyways. I got the smallest size and they still look like they'll be really, really big on me. And then for the underneath of the dungarees, I just got this oversized stripe top. I actually really like the fabric of this. It is again quite big, but I thought that if I tuck it into my already big dungarees, then it might look a little bit better. So I'm kind of going for like a Wes one geeky sort of vibe with this outfit so I also went for some clear lens glasses to complete the look this is what they look like they kind of remind me of like Harry Potter or something but they're quite cute and to finish off the outfit I went for these shoes these are just some ASOS own like van style sort of slip-on shoes I feel like these are not much different from shoes that you would get in the women's section as it is in theory this outfit should look great but I just know that the dungarees are just gonna be way too big for me but let's try it on and see how it looks okay so so this is it. I have to say, honestly, I expected worse than what I have in front of me. The actual dungarees fit quite well. Like, if anything, they're actually a little bit tight. Um, but they definitely don't have, like, the desired shape that I would want in, like, a dungarees, obviously. They're just very, very straight and masculine. So all of my curves are just kind of, like, hidden and thrown out the window. Which is quite interesting because the men's jeans, you could definitely still see, like, the actual curvature of my body. Even though they are a men's cut. However, with dungarees, even when they're women's, I feel like they always have that kind of, like, masculine cut. And they really just cover all of your curves. I mean, look at my backside. It just looks like a deflated pancake. So I'm I'm definitely not the biggest fan of the dungarees and also they just literally go straight down all the way to the floor they're super super straight and they're not really flattering for my body type but the top underneath is really cute I love the fabric of it it's kind of like really thick fabric which I don't usually find tops made out of this material in the women's section so that's kind of interesting the shoes fit really really nicely so I have nothing bad to say about that but the dungarees I honestly feel like I can't move like I can't even do this look it's literally just Oh, it's just painful. So although I really like the look of this outfit, I think the dungarees are just a bit too stiff for me. So I'm going to have to give this outfit a thumbs down. Okay, so the next outfit I feel like is a little bit more edgy. I went and created the whole outfit around these and they are definitely out there like I usually wouldn't wear trousers like these. These are just like camo pants. They're very like 
I don't know, they're very like tomboyish. I usually don't wear stuff like this, but I just thought I'd give it a go anyway. I got these in a size S and hopefully these should fit me. They are gonna have that like boy shape to it because obviously it's from the men's section. To pair that off, I just went for an extra, extra small black vest. It's like the white one that I showed you guys earlier. It is very long, these ones. Then to match the camo pants, I went for this like khaki sort of hat. This is gonna definitely complete the look. It's gonna add a little bit of something. I feel like it's gonna make it look like an Instagram Baddy sort of look. And then lastly for the shoes, I just picked up some Nike trainers. These are again really, really cool. They don't look like a men's shoe per se. They could totally be a unisex shoe, which that's what I love about trainers. I am actually really pleased with the outfit and I'm hoping it's gonna fit. Okay, so this one is definitely the most tomboyish look I have ever sported on this channel. I actually really like it. I'm getting really like Instagram baddies vibes from this. In terms of the shirt, it is exactly the same fit as the white one. The trousers feel a lot more like a men's fit though. I've never worn trousers that felt like this. The waistband is super like stretchy so I feel like you know, it doesn't feel very high-waisted or anything, which I didn't expect it to. I definitely feel like there's a lot more trousers out there on the market in the women's section right now that look like this than there used to be. It's definitely more common for women to wear trousers like this in this day and age with like Instagram and everything. The only thing I don't really like is the fit of the pants. So I think I'm gonna give this one a half up, half down thumbs up just because the trousers are kind of uncomfortable. And now for the very last outfit, I went for another long vest, but this one isn't plain. It's got a little American flag on it, which I think is really, really cute. I would totally wear a top like this if it was like a woman's version. It is, again, very long, so I've got the same plan for all of these. I'm just gonna kind of tie it up or tuck it in, whatever fits best. I've then just gone for another pair of jeans. I actually feel like these will fit so much better because they low-key already look like women's jeans, but I promise these were from the men's section. They have that like slight high-waisted cinched in sort of waist and they've got all the little ribs. These were like super skinny jeans, so I was like, like, yep, I'm gonna have some of those. And then to spice up the outfit a little bit, I went for this Tommy jeans from Tommy Hilfiger bandana. It's literally just got Tommy jeans written all over it. I thought this was really cute, and I was like, why is that not in the woman's section? Excuse me, ASOS. So anyways, let's take a little peek at what that outfit looks like on. This is what the outfit looks like on. Oh my god, the jeans literally took me about 10 minutes to try and get on because they were so tight like I can't even do the button up properly. I actually expected these to be a bit too big but they turned out to be too small so that's a plot twist. They would fit really nicely though if they were a size a little bit bigger. They honestly feel like women's jeans to be honest. Now the vest I've just tied it up into like a little knot which I think looks really cute. I do again wish I had a bandeau to just put around my bra so that you can see it on the sides and the bandana looks really cute. I'm actually surprised that they didn't have this in the women's section either because it is a Tommy Hilfiger bandana which a girl can totally wear as well. I think out of all the outfits, this might be my least favorite just because it's not really out there as much as the other ones and the jeans don't fit at all. So I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down as well. So those were all of the outfits that I have put together from the men's section. This was honestly so much fun. I've never done anything like this and it was a lot of fun for sure. I really hope you guys enjoyed this a slightly different video. I feel like I do hauls all the time, but I just wanted to spice it up a little bit on this channel. Let me know down below which outfit was your favorite. I feel like the first one is definitely my favorite just because of the Burberry cap. Like, well, the Burberry cap. It honestly looks like Burberry. I really like it. If you guys would like to see more challenge and fashion related videos on this channel, do let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I'm always keen and down for any suggestions that you guys may have. If you guys want to catch up with me over on my social media, my Twitter and Instagram are both Roxoras, so I'll see you guys on there if you guys want to follow me. But that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it entertaining, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mm.